So welcome back to another episode of Appalachian Shine. This is JC, your usual host. This is the official podcast for the Foundation for Appalachian Advancement. And today we're joined by Beth Takish from Tazewell, Virginia. Did I pronounce that properly, Beth? You did, yeah. Takish or Takish, Tackage. yeah. Okay. However, yeah. So, um, so Beth is with the Back of the Dragon over in Tazewell, and um, this has been a an interesting route. You guys have a really interesting story with your business there. Um, yeah. First of all, Beth, tell us a little bit about what is Back of the Dragon for those who have no idea what it is. Mm -hmm. Well, first and foremost, Back of the Dragon is a car and motorcycle enthusiast route um, between Marion and us here in Tazewell. Um, it's 32 miles, 438 curves. Uh, you reach 3,500 elevation. Um, it is all the, the, the curves you'd want, some straightaways, some breathers, some sweepy, some tight. Um, so it's, it's really one of those routes that if you have a, a motorcycle or a sports car or any kind of motor enthusiast, uh, you want to take your machine on. So it's, it's pretty cool. It's pretty special. So the route is really cool. And, you know, it, it's been there for a long time and it's, uh, um, I think, what is it? Route. Uh, route 16 route 16 yes. right so so this is mm -hmm. so if you're over in Tazewell County and you take the mountain or mountains I should say it brings you yeah, out three over of them. yeah three of them takes you out over at Hungry Mother's Park over uh, in Mary yes. and one of the things that I really really like about this road um, not only it's a scenic it's a scenic drive for anybody and and I love this route because um, Beth I'm actually colorblind so in the fall oh. leaves change I actually yeah. see colors I don't see all year long. So oh, it's like a kaleidoscope is the best way mm. to describe it. So in the fall, when the leaves change, I always, I like to drive that route and come out over in Marion and then go down to South Holston Lake and just kind of yeah. enjoy, I always take a day just to enjoy the drive and enjoy the colors that I don't, I don't get to see. And it is a very curvy road, but it is beautiful. And there's some scenic overlooks and I always love yeah. to stop by and take pictures up there. Yes, so this, and uh, we do too. We, <laughs> so we'll we'll take pictures of you in your vehicle coming over uh, on our on the Tazewell side at the uh, Kudzu. What we what we lovingly call Kudzu Curve because you you can't fight it. So you might as well. Yeah, it's right it. there next to uh, Thompson <laughs> Valley. Like you're overlooking Thompson yes. Valley at that that spot. Yes. and I love we, going to that spot to take photos. I've been there actually just to relax and saw you guys there taking photos of the of the the bikers that come across. Yeah, and yeah. Uh, so, so that's kind of cool to see that, and it's so cool to see people that aren't from here coming that route and just like experiencing these little towns right here in Central Appalachia. It's kind of cool. Yep. So, so you Very guys have a business actually called Back of the Dragon. What's the history yeah. behind? That? So, so you ask, what is the Back of the Dragon? And and I feel like uh, just the road, but it's also an unanswered question of. Uh, you know, what are we going to do next uh, to thrill people who come here? So um, the store itself, uh, my dad actually started with 12 t-shirts and a backpack. So that's, that's the story. That's the, uh, so he, uh, he got this logo right here that's behind me. Um, and that's, that's the original logo. And um, so he just, he, uh, my brother and his friend actually um, drew that up and they put it on some t-shirts. And they, uh, in the first weekend, dad went up there and sold out of the t-shirts. And so that started this, uh, I think it's been like 16 years now journey um, to where we are now with our uh, opened in 2020 uh, new facility where we have over 5,000 square feet of not only souvenirs, um, but also um, we're a brewery, coffee shop. Uh, we just introduced our pizza this spring. Um, of course, we take photos on the road, we rent slingshots, um, and we also have some lodging um, that's associated with our with our brand. So we have we have a lot going on. Yeah, I, I was looking through your website. Now, you, now it's Larry Davidson, right? It's your dad, right? Yeah, that's my dad. Yeah, Larry. Okay. Yeah. Now, I was looking at, there's there's a really good section there on the story behind this. Um, yes. And, you know, when he came out of the military and... and um, now he was born. This is, this is kind of ironic, but he was born in this little town called Cambridge, West Virginia. And I swear to God, if you blink your eyes, you will miss going through Cambridge. Yeah. Um, yeah. The weird thing is, um, my my father was a coal miner, 
and he worked yeah. up for a guy who was a preacher at Cambridge Baptist Church right there in the crook of this road next to the river. And okay. that's where I sort of grew up in church was in Cambridge, West Virginia. We would drive from Richlands all the way over there. Wow. But it is it, like if you think back at the dragon is curvy, that is some curvy roads. But so it's kind of neat that like he's from Cambridge and, and uh, you yeah. have all that there too. So kind of a small world. Um, how's yeah. the pizza? How's the pizza coming over? I noticed you just had this big oven put in. And... Yeah, the pizza is delicious. So we, uh, yeah, so um, kind of had a thought process of, uh, you know, we have a lot of folks that need to be fed and um, what goes great with beer? Well, pizza. So, uh, so uh, then we started looking around like, how are we going to do this thing? And uh, so we got this really awesome pizza oven. It's called, it's a pizza master actually. So it's kind of like if um, like a brick fired oven and electric had a baby, <laughs> it would be yeah. this. <laughs> so it's, it's very cost efficient, um, helps us cook evenly and, and do all the things that you want out of a pizza. But it also has that, um, that artisan element to it as well. So we really wanted to make something special. Um, we didn't, we're not necessarily, I wouldn't call us like a, like a, like a Mamma Mia pizzeria. We're not, we're not like that at all. We have some unique, um, different things that we do, um, with our pizzas. And, uh, so dragon fired pizza is, is what we kind of came up with. And, and so it's, it's fun and, and the pizza is really good. So I've had, had a lot of people. So the cool thing about Back of the Dragon is you get a lot of people from all over the United States of America and, um, the world. And uh, so I've had a lot of folks who are like, I know pizza. This is good pizza. So, so I'm really happy to, uh, to have that, uh, you know, that, thumbs up. So, yeah, that's yeah. another thing I wanted to ask was, I know we have people that drive these like, from all over the country that come and drive some of these scenic routes through like Tazewell yeah. County, Wythe County. Um, oh, yeah. Wythe County. So what are some of like the, like from around the world, like what are some of the nationalities of people that have, driven this road and uh, stopped in uh well when this first started i'll tell you a funny story so dad was um having a meeting uh with some of the county officials and and he was like really still like we hadn't we didn't have a store yet you know we didn't have a brick and mortar and and we were just doing back the dragon days and he was really trying to drum up support you know and he said i tell you what he said more canadians come you know uh to 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 taswell and he said, and they were like, Canadians, there's no Canadians. So they walk out of the meeting and it was, it was uh, on Main Street and they walk out and here's all these motorcycles and they all have Canadian license plates. <laughs> so, yeah, and, they're, <laughs> and they're eating at like the front porch, you know, and he's like, see, I told you, you know, and so they went up and actually were able to talk to him and they're like, yeah, no, we're here to drive the back of the dragon, you know, and um, so it's really cool. So we, we get a lot of folks from Canada um we've had folks from south america uh europe um i think probably maybe south africa might have been the farthest and and when i say that like it wasn't just like yeah i'm from south africa and then i'm like like they they're actually like on like trips yeah. and they they are actually like um curated motorcycle trips that these folks you know are searching out and back the dragon is, is is part of these trips so it's really really cool um that that we are getting recognized um more and more um as a motorsports mecca i guess here in here in uh little southwest virginia so yeah and that really is cool. we have something special because once you get on yeah. the other side of smith county when you come out on the third mountain near um yeah. hungry mother's park damascus is not far away and they have damascus trail days mm -hmm. Appalachian Trail yes. runs right through the area. Um, yeah. I'd have heard a rumor. Let me ask you about this and see if this might be true. Are they extending the Appalachian Trail to come through Tazewell or come close to the town of Tazewell? Well, I think what you might be hearing is about the spearhead trails. So the off-road trails, um, they're they're talking about trying to link up um, the Hatfield-McCoy trail system out of West Virginia and the spearhead out of Virginia. And they're trying to link those two together. And if they do that, um, and I think they're going to do something here in, in Tazewell. Now, I haven't, you know, it's all speculative and, and we'll see what happens. But um, if they do that, though, there will be all thousands of miles of off-road trails that will be yeah. accessible, folks. 
And so like that, that would be incredible that for tourism and, and, you know, economic boom, it would be and great. It'd be great for your spot there too, back at the dragon. How many of the people oh, yeah. do we think that <laughs> come over that ride, ride the, uh, the dragon, how many of those are looking to do off-roading too? Well, it's it's kind of one of those things. It's it's so cool because uh, if you are into motorsports, you're in the motor, you know, like you're into driving all the things. So you know, people will you know ride for hours to come and ride here for hours. So it's 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 um uh, and and they they'll come in on a motorcycle, they'll come in on a sports car, they'll come in in in, in just a regular car, and they'll rent a slingshot. They'll they'll go and they'll rent um the off-road vehicles, or they'll trailer their own off-road vehicles uh, along with their motorcycles. So they'll have both. Um, so these are folks who are, that's just their thing. Like they're into what, you know, things that have wheels and motors. So, yeah. <laughs> so um, it's, it's really a, a good tie-in. Um, you know, we have, you know, there's of course going to be some folks who are like, I only do this or I only do that. But the vast majority of folks are just like, Hey, is that, can I have fun on that thing that moves? let's do it, you know, so. <laughs> so That's pretty cool. They're really... not just looking to do one thing when they come through the area. They Because, yeah. you know, Appalachia, is, it's, it's not just a place, it's kind of an experience. When you oh, it. man, and you hit on it. So maybe you got that from our website, Experience Achieved. So oh, that's I, kind no, of... I've actually been saying that for a long time. I hadn't noticed that on the website, but that's that's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, so that's kind of one of our things is Experience Achieved. So, like, you, you know, like, this is, you know, what, what's your takeaway, I guess, from this whole thing is that, um, you know, you, you want to experience new things and even like coming into our store is an experience. Um, our beer system is a self pour. Um, we, you know, we try to create a, a really cool environment. So it's like, um, you really have that, that kind of total package of, of being not only in Southwest Virginia, but also in a place where you, you know, that there are people here who, understand what it's like to be a biker you know to be a car enthusiast and 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 want to come and, and have a really cool experience so yeah. It's really cool. yeah well one thing I like about your website is you I mean you kind of not just as a as a, a local business but you really embrace the town and on your bit on your website I mean, you're kind enough to tell people like where to stay um mm -hmm. places that they can stay places to eat like I mean you, you kind of tell people of you know what else there is to do around town so that when they get there yeah. they're not just looking well that's the other, other facet of what is back the dragon so it's the road it's it's not a, of course we have you know we have our store but the the big thing is that dad really wanted to do something um so so he was a coal miner my grandfather was a coal miner i don't know how far back it goes but uh so you know this this area used to have um, a different economic structure. Um, yeah. and of course they're still calm, but it's just not what it used to be. And so it's like, um, he went to the military because he, he actually went back and forth between the coal mines and the military and finally had to go, um, sorry, had to go, um, and, and continue into the military. Um, and then when he came back, um, he was like, you know, what are we going to like, what are we going to do? Like we have beautiful, so much opportunity that's not been, you know, it's just scratched the surface. So he's, you know, his, one of his things is, you know, God made the mountains, V dot paved them. Let's use them. You know, like, yeah. let's, let's do something here. So, um, so he was like, let's, let's try to show folks you know, that, that we have this other value, not only is it under our ground, but it's our ground itself, you know, so we have these beautiful mountains and this beautiful scenery and also our people. So we have incredible, um, you know, it's really fun to like, like read our Google reviews and stuff like that. Um, and just how many folks say, wow, I just felt so welcomed, um, and just had a great time. Everybody was just so, so kind and, and, you know, and so we're really like, and actually it's kind of corny, but if you got hired here at Back of the Dragon, your first, your first position would be as a welcome team member. So, so whether yeah. you're somebody out or whatever you're going to do, um, our, our main thing is you're, you're welcoming people in, 
um, to the welcome center, aka brewery, aka headquarters, whatever you want to call it. But but you're really here to just continue that welcoming experience. Um, and so, Dad really was like, we we need to do something to let people know that this is the place to come. This is the place to be if you want to have that experience. And then two, you know, we need the town and we need the region because we're, you know, we need something for folks to do that's not just a pass through. So, you know, you can come for a day trip and you can ride the, the road and you can come to our store and like hang out and that's fun. But what we really want people to do is come for a weekend, come for a week. We have plenty of stuff for them to do. We have other roads that are gorgeous for them to ride and experience. We have, like we touched on, the off-road adventures. We have hiking, fishing. Yeah. Um, we have these awesome little towns with unique history to explore. We have shopping opportunities. We have culinary experiences that people can really yeah, dig into. Exactly. And, you know, and, and what we've what we've done here in Tazewell, since we don't really have a big name hotel, uh, we've done a lot of these little boutique kind of experiences where you can like stay on Main Street in a loft or you can get a cabin um, out actually on Route 16 or, uh, you know, stay other places on Main Street. And uh, we actually, of course, we have the, the Litz Mansion, which is that, um, uh, it's, you know, um, 150 year old. Uh, mansion that you can actually yeah. stay in so you know there's different experiences that you can actually have here um and what you know what we're really trying to do is is package the whole town to folks because they're not just coming to back the dragon they're coming to Tazewell they're coming to Marion they're coming to Tazewell County Smith County they're coming to the region southwest Virginia so yeah. we really want it to be able to to package that for folks and and we're continuing to do that and like build relationships <clears throat> um with folks uh, and, uh, of course, uh, you know, Ap um, Appalachian Backroads. And uh, so 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 we're with those folks, um, uh, Hard Appalachia, you know, trying to really get it out. Oh, the uh, and the breweries and the, the wineries and, the, you know, so there's just we're really just the tip of the iceberg on the the experiences, the services that we can provide folks sure, from yeah. outside the area. Yeah. And, you know, the. Um... And we're starting to see more things like uh, brochures on like winery tours. You, you know, when you go to Kentucky, you always hear about the bourbon trail and you can go yeah. on those bourbon tours. Um, there was some talk about doing like a moonshine trail with some of the distilleries that had opened up. But yeah, if you look at like some of the some of the vineyards and the wineries that are here in this part of Appalachia, um, a yeah. friend of mine actually uh, owns the one near Radford. Uh, him and his okay. wife, when they retired, that was their dream, their retirement dream to set up. So they set awesome. this up and, you know, there's yeah. only a certain type of grape that grows here in this region in Appalachia that's for this wine. And that's yeah. a great tour for people to go on and do wine tastings and, and then end up back in a place like Tazewell. And, you know, it's kind of that, you know, that storybook small town America that sort of yeah. is sort of forgotten that we still fortunately have in quite a few pockets in Appalachia and central Appalachia and Southwest Virginia. So it's really awesome what you guys are doing. You, you're also a little bit more effective in the community or, or active in the community because I was just looking at your schedule and we had some kind of rough news locally here. Um, one of our officers mm -hmm. uh, was killed in the line of duty uh, last week. And so you guys are actually doing a Deputy Hunter Reedy benefit ride and that's this Saturday. Uh, um, yeah, we're, yeah, so honored to be able to do that. Yeah. So it starts at 10, but you got to have kickstands up at 10, registration at 9. And yeah. um, and then the, you'll go over the back of the dragon to Marion and then come back mm -hmm. to the brewery there. And uh, a, really, actually, a good percentage of your sales that day for pizza uh, goes mm -hmm. to the benefit of uh, Deputy Reedy, prizes, cornhole, all that. Um, what kind of atmosphere are you expecting Saturday for this? This is a really important ride for, you know, this, this was sad news. And I'm glad you yes. guys were paying attention to help with the family. Oh, um, we're just, again, we're so honored to be able to do that. Um, and that's really like one of the things, you know, why we wanted to set up this facility was to be able to to help um, and, and do these benefit rides. But this one is particularly touching um, because Debbie Reedy, you know, that that community 
um, of the Back of the Dragon, you know, and, and really this this road was built to connect, you know, Tazewell and Smith County uh, yeah. together. And so this is just another poignant um, way that that is happening. Um, and uh, so, yeah, so the, the event itself, um, uh, we're going to have hopefully a lot of folks come out, um, get together and ride. It's it's really cool. You know, it's one thing to ride by yourself. It's another thing, you know, to ride with, you know, 20, 50 people. Um, it's just a really touching experience to do that. Um, yes, and we're going to... Um, uh, hopefully a lot of people come out and uh, eat some delicious pizza. Uh, we're going to, we're going to give 20% uh, of those sales uh, to the family that day. Um, and we're also going to do some raffle prizes and, and uh, I think organize some cornhole and try to get some, some other things, fun things going. Um, but, uh, but yeah, just a really fun event um, to, to come out and uh, be able to uh, bless the family uh, with some much needed funds to, to help. And uh, he did, um, he was, he was a young guy, he was like 27. Uh, and, 28. Uh, yeah, he was 28. 28. Yeah, I had a, a wife and uh, he was a father three, too. And was... Three kids. Yeah. So three as kids. a, you know, as a wife and mother myself and uh, my husband, uh, military, but uh, you know, those, those, those are dangerous jobs that these guys yeah. do. And, uh, but you just don't, you know, you, you take for granted uh, when, when you, when you kiss your husband goodbye in the morning that he's going to come back home. So, you know, so it's just, it's just a, it's a horrible thing. Yeah. Uh, and I know probably the, uh, you know, the police officer community will probably have something set up for the children and things like that, donations for that too. So yeah, if anybody's interested, just do a Google search on, uh, what kind of benefits they're doing for, uh, uh, deputy Hunter Dakota Reedy and, and you'll find some things of donating to that so yeah, really great you don't ours, yeah fine there's there's plenty um out there so so please if it's on your heart please uh please help the family um one other thing it, it's kind of on a, on a lighter note here i know that that's a really important event hopefully i'm sure wvva will be there to cover maybe some other news but you guys do so much more there you have uh, i know you have live music coming up i think thursday cole harley yeah. is gonna be there yeah. um you yeah. guys are having the uh, Another bike night uh, in well, a couple of them in September, and then live yeah. music like blues music. So you guys are pretty eclectic with the different kinds of music that you bring in. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We have a good time. We have a good time. Um, so we have a really, really great relationship um, with with the local Harley dealerships. Of course, Cole, um, Black Bear, uh, Black Wolf, and uh, so it's really cool. So once a month they come down and they do biker bingo. They bring prizes. Uh, we we get some live music going. And uh, we just have a really good, good evening together. Um, and it kind of, kind of expands, you know, the folks that, that come. Um, it's really funny. I always laugh and go, you know, more folks in Canada know more about Back the Dragon than maybe like in like the surrounding counties. I know. <laughs> I know. So, so we're just getting that word out there uh, that folks can come. And even if you don't have a bike, you know, we call it bike night, but if you just like to come out, have a good time, listen to some good music uh have fun with your buddies i mean it's it's just a good night you don't have to be a biker necessarily yeah i was wondering so, how many of the locals actually just come there just to come there yeah not with the bike but, they, you know, they do fun. yeah it's just a fun event and it's right here on main street so uh you don't have to travel far so just you know they can just come out and hang out yeah you can't miss the spot when you drive by you'll see it <laughs> um yeah yeah we kind of have a big dragon so yeah um but no it's a really cool spot and you guys are doing a whole lot in the community i certainly appreciate you coming on um, where can people follow you guys on social media if they want to keep up with events that are going on in the future? Yeah, Back of the Dragon. Uh, I think it's, it's Back of the Dragon, Virginia, um, just to be more specific, I guess, where we are. And uh, so we have uh, Facebook, we have Instagram. Um, what else do we do? There are some like older YouTube videos. We need to get better on our YouTubes. Uh, and then uh, we also, of course, uh, everything can be found on our website, backofthedragon.com. Um, and yeah, so we just invite everybody to come and have a good time. So if you want to see what kind of a good time they're having, their Instagram page is really kind of fun to follow. Um, so I, I follow you guys over there. So thank you. That's, um, that's Dylan. That's, that's not me. That's Dylan. He's, uh, you know, he's part of the younger generation and he knows how to do all those things. I'm yeah, I'm on the, I'm on the cusp of the Xers. So I'm, yeah, I can, I can do it. It's just painful. <laughs> so. uh, but 
but yeah, folks, uh, make sure you check out the website, check out the social media, stop by for some pizza, especially this Saturday on this, on August 24th for a great cause. And um, if there's any other donations or raffles there, make sure you, you help out the family of, of the fallen officer. And uh, thanks for what you guys are doing in the community. It's, I know your dad had a big vision and it's, and, it, and it's an amazing vision. You guys look like you're having so much fun. So that's, I'm glad you guys are just enmeshed into the community now. And it's, uh, oh, I hope look so forward much. to it. many more years. You guys have a lot of success. Hey, uh, just keep, keep track of us, man. We're always doing something. So <laughs> we'll see what's and, next. And you're welcome back on the podcast. Anytime if you have any special events coming up, um, let us Thank know, we'll pop on for a few minutes. We'll talk about it, but, uh, thanks again for uh, doing the show and, uh, folks also, uh, you can follow us at www.supportappalachia.org. And uh, we did have a Facebook page until I guess it got hacked, but no one's no one's posted on it in about a year and a half, so I can't remember the password. Sorry, oh, man. but but uh, but keep up with with us here at Appalachian Shine and follow us um, wherever you find us online. Thanks again, folks, and we will see you on down the road.